Hey, what's up guys? Todd here from the RC Element. Uh, today I got a uh, new product in from banggood.com. Uh, check out their uh, website, the link is in the description. Uh, today I'm reviewing the JJRC H H20 Hexacopter. It's a nano hexacopter, which I've never had a hexacopter before. Uh, only quadcopters, so I was very uh, curious about how this thing was going to handle and look and just the overall feel of it. So, as you can see, it comes with a, um, you know, your standard uh, lithium polymer. I think it's a 150 milliamp battery. Uh, I did get the red version. They also have a gold and black version. So the uh, propellers, they're, uh, they are direct, directly driven from the motors. They're not like uh, gear driven or anything, but they're directly driven from the motors and they, they do come with the, uh, the, the guards already uh, on there, which I think looks pretty cool on this one actually. Most of the time I don't like the guards, but with this one they don't look too bad. The, uh, the transmitter, it's a 2.4 gigahertz transmitter. It's it's smaller than what I'm used to, but it, it does the job just fine. Um, it does have your trim, full trim for your yaw left and right and forward and backward. And of course your uh, throttle stick there, just like your normal throttle. And your analog stick to uh, control it. And uh, batteries, it takes two AA batteries it also comes with, you know, your charger and spare props, a screwdriver. All right, here's a little size comparison. We got the Hubson X4, the Sima X11, and the Sima X12. All right, let me bring out the controllers. As you can see, the Sima X11 controller is quite a bit bigger than the uh, H20. Again, I'd like to thank banggood.com for uh, providing me with this uh, hexacopter. And uh, let's go ahead and get a little indoor flight to uh, see how it performs. All right, guys, the RC element out. Wow. Wow. Very stable. 